I never thought the day would come that I would recommend a current Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, but here we are. In Six Bullets, he plays a mercenary who specializes in rescuing kidnapped children, but when a mission goes horribly wrong, he retires. Then an MMA fighter's daughter is abducted, and our badass is brought out of retirement so he can go back to kicking ass and saving the day. We get to see the mission that breaks our main character, and it sets a serious tone in this film and shows us that the action is going to be nice and tight. So when he's broken, when he's pushed off to the side, here comes the family. Here comes this MMA fighter and his daughter being taken. And all of a sudden, guess right? Our hero's got to step up from the shadows and we see the quest. We get to see this family just being destroyed by their daughter being taken from them. And we get to see a man coming back to life to do the one thing that would redeem his failure, save a child's life. It was the surprising intensity that pulled me into this film. We have a heavy subject matter here, obviously, but it's the twists and turns the story takes with the villains and with our family and our mercenary that just gave it a seriousness, just a, a palpable feel that I wasn't expecting, especially in this kind of action film. And the action was, it was a little hit and miss. Sometimes the action was a little bit over the top, especially toward the end. But for the most part, the hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences, the gunfights, just focused in real tightly on the actors and kept the, the idea that this could really happen a bit more realistic for you. Van Damme is known for his bravado type characters and his bit repetitive combat scenes and Six Bullets is free of all of those. We get to see him as a serious reserved character, someone who's been shattered and is being put back together. And when he fights, it's quick, it's with the point, there's not a lot of flourish and you know what? That's the movie. It doesn't have any flourish. It's just a good action film.